Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Of course, my name is Kent. The channel's EOS San Diego. I make a nightly video about the EOS blockchain. And if you can see that behind me, I'm in front of the Army Navy Academy. Uh, hopefully they don't turn the lights off on me before this video is finished. I think they just got finished with the football game here. So, uh, like I say, hopefully they don't turn the lights off on me. If they do, I'll have to take the video someplace else where I got some light. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit tonight. I want to talk about EOS and, um, and, and EOS. How, as I watch videos on YouTube about EOS, uh, it's really interesting to me because people are either love EOS or they don't like EOS. There doesn't seem to be much middle ground. Either it's uh, they're, they're highly uh, supportive of EOS or they don't like EOS. There doesn't seem to be much in between. Either people are, are understand uh, Dan Larimer's uh, uh, protocol, uh, the proof of stake protocol, or they don't understand it or they're very negative about it. Or they, they, they like Bitcoin, they like Ethereum because they're proof of work and they don't like EOS because it's proof of stake. But anyway, it's interesting to me that it's, 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 uh, it's so divided and that either people like EOS or they dislike EOS. But I think for EOS to get out of the sideways trading, downward trading trend that EOS is in, as well as the other cryptocurrencies, there needs to be something happen in all or some or one of the currencies, other currencies, one of the other cryptocurrencies. Because they're all related and they're all connected, so really EOS needs a little help from their friends. They need help from somebody else, something big, something major, something like Bitcoin being traded on the funds, where uh, Bitcoin is allowed by the Security Exchange Commission to have uh, one of the funds trade it, be traded with one of the funds or some bundled up fund where all the cryptocurrencies are being able to trade on a fund on a, on, on a, on a, on a major uh, exchange. And if that happens, it's going to make everything better for every cryptocurrency, including EOS. And for EOS to be the leader, which I think they are already with transactional speeds and with the, uh, with the amount of uh, transactions per minute, per second, all the other things that's going on with EOS, the fact that EOS is uh, recording more information on the blockchain than any other cryptocurrency right now, is, is all this is, is kind of overshadowed by the fact that all the other cryptocurrencies are trading sideways and downward too, just like EOS is doing. But EOS is kind of a victim of all the other sideways market activity going on. So for EOS really to come out of this, uh, this trading cycle that we're in, not that it's been there very long, but people get impatient, something else needs to break. One of the other cryptocurrencies need to, need, to, need to take off for that, for EOS to take off along with it. I don't know that EOS at this point is going to lead the market until something else breaks the market, and then I think EOS will take over. But right now, EOS needs a little help from one of their friends, one of their Ethereum, one of their Bitcoin, one of the Ripple, one of the other cryptocurrencies. Something else has got to happen. And I think that it will very soon. I think that we're in a, in the, in a kind of the, uh, the coming out of, these, uh, of, this, uh, of this downward sideways market that we're, we're in. But they do. You know, all cryptocurrencies are looked at as one, uh, one trading um, platform. They're all looked at as one, one, you know, they're all related to one another. Just like in, uh, in, in the regular stocks, in, in NASDAQ or, or Dow Jones Industrial Stocks, you could look at a different sector. You could look at the, uh, uh, you could look at technology sector, you could look at transportation sector, you can look at those sectors and they all trade together. If one of those stocks starts to lead out of a, a, of a downward trend, um, some of the others will the others will follow as long as everybody starts to trade these things. Since Bitcoin has a name recognition, Bitcoin I think has to lead EOS out of this or lead all cryptocurrencies out of this kind of sideways trading that we've been in for a while. But I think it'll happen very soon. But like I say, this uh, and I'll name the video this that EOS really needs a little help from their friends. They need to be po everything needs to be positive in a cryptocurrency market for EOS to take off as well as the other cryptocurrencies. That's what we're looking for right now. We're looking for some spark. To ignite the whole market, some spark to take everything up to the next level. We need some spark, and it doesn't matter which cryptocurrency makes that spark. When that happens, EOS will start to take off, as well as everything else. For EOS to lead the pack right now, something needs to happen. Something needs to take off. Something needs to to, to be. And that's why I've been talking so much about Bitcoin, and and the, and, and trading on the funds, trading with the with the ETFs. Um, that's what needs to happen. Something like that needs to happen. It needs to be brought into the mainstream. Some major announcement needs to happen in some of the other cryptocurrencies, and then everything's going to take off together. Just like I would say 
in transportation, in stocks, in, 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 in uh, technology and stocks. They all are interconnected. They all lead to one another and they all help one another when the, when the market's up and when the market's down. Right now, we need some spark someplace in the market. It doesn't necessarily need to be with EOS. It just needs to be someplace in the market. And EOS will take off. That I do know for sure. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.